Up for sale, 1964 Ford Galaxy 500 XL. I'm going to walk around it, tell you about the car, fire it up, and then drive it. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, 64 Galaxy 500 XL Fastback. Finished in red with black interior, bucket seats and console. 352 automatic, power steering, power brakes, vintage AC. And as always, go around it, put on anything I do see, tell you everything I do know about it, fire it up, and then drive it. Uh, so, of course, we'll start here in the front. But before I do, my name is Andrew, and my business is Next Gen Classic Cars of Illinois. My website is nextgenclassiccars.com. Uh, the link to my website will be in the description of this video, as well as a link to my eBay store in case you do want to check it out, see what else I have, maybe find out more about this car. Uh, contact us, you know, email, phone call, whatever works. Uh, but anyway, let me go ahead and we will start here on the front bumper. It's actually really shiny, looks very nice. Not too many marks on it. You see like some toweling marks, but, but the shininess of it is super nice. Uh, your trim in the front, grill and that, really, really nice as well. Uh, it was a frame-off restoration, and I have, hey, really, frame-off restoration on the car. Frames painted beautifully, all new bushings, floors painted very nicely, everything underneath, uh, nice. Uh, frame-off restoration, and I have two binders of receipts. Uh, looks like dating back to 97. If you would have told me this was frame-off restored starting in 97, I think you'd be crazy, because there's really not too many blemishes on it. The quality and the condition of the paint you know down the sides as well i mean not too many marks trunk top trim bright work condition of the glass i mean you name it uh, but of course you are with age going to get a couple little marks i know i mentioned that and then point out a few it's the front i'm sorry this side not none here little mark and another little mark there but let's let's carry on down the side here you'll see what i mean it's a deep red very nice very nice quality um chrome spears are super nice and i'd like to say that I, I i can now say i know a fair share about these galaxies considering i had an r code uh, so i had to do a lot of homework for that but anyway let's pop the hood open here and we'll show you the engine this, this. 352 uh original 352 to the car you see the brake booster master cylinder there you see your vintage ac that blows cold there power steering which works very nicely of course aluminum radiator which i have a receipt for and uh again i was thinking you know frame off inner fender walls painted beautifully all this very nice as well your firewall painted very nicely uh your hinges look great under hood is super nice excuse me and there is your your VIN in place there, which is, I guess, traditional for these cars. My R code had the same thing. Uh, you know, factory exhaust manifolds on it. It's a little different air cleaner. Nice carburetor on it, though. Um, but I just like this. I like the little attention to detail here as well. Um, if anything else, just back out. Looks nice. A uh, little electric fan in there on top of everything as well as this for your AC. So, brake booster looks recent. It's got that little sticker up there. I like the, again, the uh, windshield reservoir, like the correct little bag, fan of that. So anyway, let's move on down the side of the car today. Driver's side, of course. White wall tires with your uh, XL hubcaps on it. I do have a receipt for the hubcaps. Just glancing through the paperwork not too long ago. Now the fit, uh, another thing, the fenders are both original to the car. Two stamps there, and again, probably why the fitment on the doors to the fenders in this section is all super, super nice. Look at that. Nice alignment there to the, the trim as well. Door to the rocker fits nice as well as the door to the quarter. I did notice a little touch up right there on the car. And another little mark right there. Uh, let me show you the windshield. Crack free. Very nice. Your stainless around there is also super nice. And all this glass here is very nice as well. I do know 
There's a couple, a little, little touch up there, a little baby one, um, a little touch up there, a couple little marks right there, and that's, that's that. Oh, a little touch up right there. Go ahead, hop on in. But before I do, I'll show you the door panel here, which looks nice. I'm always a fan of the stainless in here and how you uh, open the door. This looks nice in there. You got the tag in place. Nice finish. Really nice finish in the door jam and the molding and forward there. Uh, nice black carpet, galaxy floor mats. Again, like I said, bucket seats and console. The only real wear on the seat is this little, little rip. Very small on that seat. That seat's fantastic. And your back seat is like brand new. And I left that little car in there because they put one of the brake lights in the back. So when you hit the brakes, it lights up just through the back window of that car. I had to leave it. I was like, that's too cool to take out. Uh, your back door panels are excellent. Uh, your package tray in the back, with exception of the car, is exactly how it should be. Your headliner is mint with the garage door opener. <laughs> can't tell you how many cars I find with the garage door for openers in them. Whew. Factory steering wheel, factory gauges, uh, and added volt gauge down there. There's your AC controls for the select air. They look like, a, like maybe a period correct kind of a system down there. I like that they did that. And now moving the dice out of the way. Dash is gorgeous. All this. Console is very nice as well. Shifter down there. A little tack down there as well. You know, little things come in handy. Let me switch hands here because the temperature is actually dropping. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, very cold, very cold. Let's keep going. Another thing I wanted to note, uh, point out all the new bolts in there for when the fenders were disassembled and the, of course off the car during the restoration process little things you pick up over time make sure I got the key I think I do A little touch up right there but I'm going to point out no bubbles on the lowers of the car which is always positive touch up right there um of course it was garage kept during the restoration and after the or since the restoration is the term i wanted to say um and it shows that of course especially looking underneath it back bumper just about as nice as the front i just noticed a couple little marks right here on that that lip uh, but the trim looks nice your little back panel here looks nice as well uh, the exhaust sounds really nice it's got uh, like little glass packs on it. I do know there's one little mark right there on it. But the fitment of the lip is super nice. And I only noticed you know, a couple marks right here. Right on this corner of the hood. Or the, the lid, excuse me. And then right there, a little mark. Let me go ahead though and pop it open. Trunk is nice. Take it out. Take it out. Again, finished very nicely. Matte tire, spare tire, tire iron, jack, cardboard kit in there. Again, nicely painted there. Nice finish and weather stripping in here. I get that's what I'm saying. Very nice, you know, restoration. Good attention to detail all the way around. Beautifully painted under there. Um, here's the binders that I was talking about. All receipts for the car. Those are all date, like older receipts for it. And then this one has, this is from the most recent owner of six years. This is. Not, not a whole lot of receipts, but stuff that he did to it. 
There's a $2,000 bill right there. I think that's the same bill actually. And then, I see 1967. Yeah, there you go. Which was good, power brake check. Oh, there was an AC check, gaskets, brake booster there. There was the wire, manifold gasket, condenser. So a lot of good, you know, free stuff. Um, radiator. It's cold, cold, cold. Another receipt. Another receipt. And then these are 15. So good stuff. Underneath the mat, it is painted very nicely, and I like how they did it. It's painted. They put a little fiberglass patch over some areas now, I assume. There were a couple pinholes, because you could see them underneath. When I like that they did this rather than ripping out and putting a new pin in, you know, trying to make keep it as original as you can. And the funny thing is the fiberglass patch was, you know, relatively common back in that, you know, 90s time. So it makes sense that they did that. You see it there as well. Um, but from underneath, you just see a couple, you know, little very minor pinholes. Again, like that, it's probably going to stay like that for 25 more years, to be honest with you. Even like that's been replaced. Little, little things, you know, very nice. Uh, nicely done. Oh, little touch up I missed right there. No bubbles on the lowers. Again, very nice. I don't even know if I showed you the top of the car on that side, but looks like the rest of it. I mean, look how nice this is here as well. I didn't show you, but the glass as well. No cracks. Trim all the way around is nice. I mean, look how nice that looks there. This seat is mint. And I didn't show you the seat backs, but the seat backs both look like that. Very nice. It will be up for sale on my website, nextgenclassiccars.com and eBay. Both links will be in the description of this video, like I said earlier. Oops. 64 Galaxy 500 XL Fastback 352 automatic bucket seats and console power steering and power brakes as well as vintage air conditioning uh, frame off restoration as well shows beautiful for the age of it a little touch up right there so we will fire it up now and then take it for a little spin and hop in Thank you. All right.
love the bucket seats in these cars. Get on a little bit, give it a little goose. 